how can we have 60,000 people in the Durham Stadium? You told me we sold out, and I checked the receipts, and we done sold 28,000 tickets. Now, y'all better find out who's stealing, because that affects my pocket. What's going on there, peeps? We back with another one, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Coach Prime. Now, uh, yesterday we covered a rumor surrounding the Jackson State program that the school was misappropriating funds, and Coach Prime was getting tired of it, and allegedly they made an offer at the last minute. With the increased salary, they wanted him to pay his staff out of that, according to sources. Like, we don't know if this is true, but... Uh, I went back and did some digging and checked out an old Prime interview from October, and he actually hinted at some of these things. So some of some of the rumors covered yesterday don't seem that far off base. So a lot of people is going to look back and they're going to be like, "Why Coach Prime leave?" Because this was a turning point in history. You know, we actually had the guy that had the power, the notoriety, the charisma get players to start coming in in the first place see that's going to be the challenge for anybody in the beginning to build it up enough and build enough trust and top players to see the vision because what you're selling when you're recruiting these guys there is the vision you're not selling glamour you're not selling glamour like some of these big institutions you're selling a dream and a vision of where you hope to lead the charge to bring in the program to prominence so that's what they're selling and so the selling points are totally different, you know, um, and you have some bigger programs that can sell. Look, I had this person in the NFL at your position year after year after year, this person, that person. But these programs, you have to go there betting on yourself like Coach Prime did. You have to bet on the fact that you're good enough to be seen even at that program. Now, Coach Prime talked a little bit about some of the challenges that the HBCUs face. They're not all that external. They're internal. And the internal ones are ones I feel like are avoidable. So, look, check out what he had to say, man. Uh, first of all, we got to get our business straight. We got to get the business straight. When I say the business straight, I could start from ticket sales all the way to uh, concessions, uh, to apparel, to understanding TV rights. And uh, I could keep going down the list that you got to get this stuff together before you think God is gonna bless you. God don't bless none of this raggedy because that's gonna be self-destruction. Only way God is gonna bless you is you ready for the blessing. He's not gonna put something on you that you can't carry, you can't handle. And we're just now getting to the point that we could handle the blessings that he has for us. When I first got here, no, we couldn't. And I'm not just saying it just because of me, but no, we couldn't because we were raggedy. And it, it, it was no structure, no order. I mean, you go out there and kids thought they were going to the field with this on, this on, and no, 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 no. We were <laughs> black socks, we were this, we were that. We're a uniform team. You know why? Because in the NFL, if you don't have on this type of uniform in the game, you get fined. Fine. First fine is thirty five hundred, then seventy five hundred, then fifteen thousand, then it goes all the way up. The kids don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, many of the several of the coaches on the Zoom call and say, let's talk about our biggest nemesis or detractors or cancers, and we just talked about it and ironically everybody's dealing with the same foolishness but people just don't talk about it mm. but this is the problem I could say stuff coach George could say stuff um, coach Hugh Jackson could say stuff you know you got NFL pipe down guys excuse me but some guys that don't have that they may can't elaborate and talk about the dysfunction that they're dealing with because they're subject to be fired mm. And when we do it, you may not like it, but I'm not lying. So if I'm saying, how are we going to be on TV? You ain't sell out a darn home game. Hmm. So who going to go want to film an empty stadium? Hmm. They may not like it, but I ain't lying. How can we have 60,000 people in a darn stadium? You told me we sold out and I checked the receipts and we done sold 28,000 tickets. Now y'all better find out who's stealing because that affects my pocket.
you may not like it, but I ain't lying. So it's a lot of stuff like that. Um, and it's more that goes on, on that we got to address. And I just have the audacity to address it because it's for the kids. Well, you went to a bowl game last year. Cool. And so when the, the when the bowls get paid out, they're paid out for the school or is there a part of that that goes to the conference as well? How does that work? <laughs> you good. <laughs> you good. <laughs> It's paid to the schools. Both schools get a uh, a sum of money. Mm -hmm. My question was, if we went out there and we the ones did that, why are we splitting some? That we did that. The pro, the football program did that. The school didn't do that. Yeah. The football program did that. So those are my questions, as well as concerns. Okay. Yeah, I want to see that. How is that yeah. regulated and dispensed? And I'm fair. Show me the percentage. And I know we have some 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 things that we need to address amongst the school, but we did this, man. Mm -hmm. Let's take care of us and the things that we have, shortcomings that we have right now, and then we'll deal with the school. So, man, as you can hear in that audio, Deion Sanders touched on a lot of stuff and a lot of things that I spoke about yesterday. Uh, he spoke about the TV deals that was listed in the rumor. He spoke about uh, ticket sales and that was in the rumor. You see where I'm going? Like if you watch that video that I posted yesterday, all those things were listed in reasons why Coach Prime left. So is a coincidence that those are the rumors surrounding his departure? I don't know. But you do have to take in consideration the other things that are listed in the rumor as well. Because if some of these where there's smoke, you know, there's fire a lot of times. And a lot of these things match up, man. Because Coach Prime actually came out of his mouth and he spoke about it. What I will say about these HBCUs, um, we love them to death. But we can't have these self-inflicted wounds. When we get someone in that's elevating the program. Because let's face it, you getting all that extra revenue because that person's there. So somebody like Prime that's trailblazing, you have to look at that as a partnership more than somebody wants to flex their power like the president of the school or whatever. Why would you misappropriate funds and do all of that uh, unless you wanted him out of the swag? You know, maybe they're looking at it like, because he's speaking the way that he's speaking in this interview back in October, Maybe they want him out anyway so they can continue to do what they are doing, but that's not a good long-term solution to fatten your pockets or to, or to uh, misappropriate funds. That's a recipe for disaster. One thing we have to do is be on the same page because they've set it up where, okay, they're going to have more funds. They're going to have better facilities in the beginning. So when you got somebody bringing in revenue, you treat that person like a partner, man. Don't don't run him out of town. We need someone like that. You saw Nick Saban and several other big time coaches sweating because they had to go head to head recruiting with this guy. When is the last time a kid has Alabama, Texas, uh, Georgia, oh yeah, and Jackson State as their final four schools to commit to? Man, we dropped a ball on this one. If there was a way to keep Coach Prime there, and we did this by just misappropriating funds. I'm very disappointed, man. Look, let me know what y'all think in the comments because this is troubling. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.